Hey, here's Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve. This is one of our top sportsman packages. And uh, now this one's just a little bit different in that everything's the same with the uh, 136. Uh, same gear sets as you see listed on there. So right now it's got a 131 gear set in it. And we tame these down just a little bit. Uh, and then we would run it with a 120 gear set also. But this one is a little bit different in that we have a set of MBE cylinder heads on here. Uh, they do a really nice job on cylinder heads. And then he actually then matched it up to one of our billet intake manifolds. Um, so it is, uh, and like I said, this is our billet intake manifold. And then we sent the intake manifold over to Matt. And then uh, they uh, matched it up to their cylinder head. So conventional head and uh, very nice piece. I mean, they do exceptionally good work over there. And uh, look at that, they even put a little logo on it for me. Appreciate that, Matt. Uh, so anyways, super good. Uh, dark, or I'm sorry, this is aluminum block upgrade, the MBA or MBE head upgrade with intake manifold. Now we can continue to lean on these harder. Um, so, I mean, that's making good horsepower right through here. And we'll go through all those numbers and all those steps. Uh, but otherwise, it's still our common setup. So, you know, it has a uh, aluminum rod package, our piston and ring package, compression ratio. You know, we still keep these things nice and easy in that uh, 10 to 1 range uh, just trying to um, we're not trying to make max horsepower on this we're trying to make things live and it make good horsepower be safe on tune-ups and live and uh, that's exactly what these do so this same package or well actually the same horsepower package you know is running in uh, a couple cars right now they run nice solid top sportsman cars uh, very consistent 4.0s 14s uh, not leaning on them hard at all. In fact, that's on the, the lower horsepower settings. So super easy, nice uh, combinations. And uh, so anyways, what we'll do is uh, this one's on Holly. And uh, we have the screw-in inject, the screw-in billet atomizers here. So no O-rings whatsoever, uh, except down in the actual fitting body of it. But uh, they're a screw-on injector. So uh, you see the uh, dash four screw-on fittings and then they screw into the intake manifold. So, very nice piece, and uh, this one is for uh, Kermit Dahl. And uh, i tell you the truth, I'm not exactly sure what he's putting it in, but uh, it's going to be a very nice deal for Kermit. And so we're doing it with multiple settings and, uh, and trying to get it down there in those lower horsepower ranges, which is a little bit tough, um, unless we did something like flip gears around and underdrive it, basically. But uh, not really necessary to do that. So you can see here, uh, Pro Charger 136, the Pro Charger gear drive, Peterson oil pump, accessory drive with the, the Aeromotive uh, fuel pump on it. You know, we always use bigger pumps. We're always using the 23, I'm sorry, 24 gallon, 21 to 24 gallon per minute pumps on all of these engines. So anyways, we'll make a pull on this thing. I'll show you uh, all the numbers at the different horsepower levels of where we're at. Let's take a look at numbers. So, uh, as you can see now, we're a little bit. If you had seen uh, the, one of the other our, our other top sportsman package, I mean, it's they're the same engine package, different cylinder head, and whatnot. The um, and intake manifold slightly different uh, for like AJ Thompson or uh, uh, Gino Fagnelli. The um, we're just a little bit down because I didn't have 135 gear. I only had a 131 gear, so it's a little bit down on boost. So. Hence, we're just a tick down on our upper number. But uh, what Kermit was looking for was, you know, 2,600 horsepower at in the max range. It will make a little bit more out here. I pulled back just a little bit short. You can see it's out here probably in the 26, uh, oh, probably 2620 uh, 20 or 2630 ish shit, like 8,500. Uh, but I'm slowing it down out here, um, trying to keep it so it 
you know, with an 8500 RPM rev limiter, I like to take a bunch of timing out of it as it gets closer to it so it doesn't come up just full bore, full boogie, and uh, hit the rev limiter, and pop, 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 pop. You know, I just kind of make it lay over just a little bit before it gets to the rev limiter. So a little tuning tip if you want to use it or not, it don't really matter. But uh, anyways, uh, that was a nice pull, nice piece, a 2607 at 8100 and uh, 1696 at 7700 and I'll show you let's see boost wise and like I said it's just slightly uh, less boost uh, 30 uh, 35 yeah I think we were like 38 ish or somewhere around there maybe even a little bit closer to 40 on the on the other motors uh, now what I can show you here too is uh so this is like um the good 131 gear set so this would be your change of gear sets uh and uh for kermit and then we have the 120 gear sets uh, which is the lower boost version so i can graph these all together for you and what you can see here uh, let's make sure i got all the right ones uh let's see Seven, eight. Uh, eight is not the right one. Sorry, hold on. Uh, back. Oops. Uh, here, I'm just getting the right graphs all up here for you. And uh, uh, there we go. Now, here you can see this is the 120 gear set uh, with low timing in it. And our peak horsepower, we'll just do horsepower is at 8,000 RPM. Just keep it simple. Uh, peak horsepower at 8,000 RPM was 2226. Uh, when we put timing in this exact same gear set, now this gear set makes 30 pounds of boost. Uh, and I can go back there and show you that. But uh, it makes 30 pounds of boost. So this is the exact same uh, pulley gear, or I'm sorry, gear ratio in the red line. And that is 2470 is uh, with the uh, lean leaned up, you know, working on that that uh, boost. So that 30 pounds of boost making 2470. Um, and that's leaning on it pretty good. It's got all the timing in it. Uh, AFRs are, are pretty right there. Um, so that's leaning on it. That's, that's still a good number. Still at a decent low boost right there. And then, like I said, with timing out of it and with um, a little bit about 0.2 richer, 0.2, 0.3 richer in the AFR scale, not in, or I'm sorry, in an alcohol scale, not in a gasoline scale. Gasoline scale is uh, basically four to six. Um, so anyways, uh, you know, 0.3, so that's a fair amount. 0.3, just see the, uh, it's like, uh, I don't know, about 0.3, about 5% or so, or in between five and 10% lower, or richer, I mean. Then, uh, interesting, then I forgot to, uh, the order of where I did these pulls is I did this one, then I did this one. And then we changed the gear set. So this green line is actually the 35 PSI tune-up with the low timing setup. So uh, gear set with low timing setup, and that thing is at, um, had this funny little hop there because it's pretty rich, and there's no timing in it at this point, uh, 2363. So uh, right there in that 23 to 2400 area. And then the blue line is the 131 gear set uh, with full timing and a normal tune-up. Still not leaning on it till the very end. I mean, it's we can we could lean on it a little bit more if we wanted to, uh, but there's not much sense. Um, you know, it's going to be in that 26. 100, uh, 26, 20, 25, 30, right around that range total. Uh, you know, but out here we were at, you know, 2607 is where we're at. And 6,000 is uh, 2598 or something. So, anyways, uh, pretty nice piece. You got multiple tunes, uh, super um, easy on parts, and nice, dependable, durable, more common. Uh, setup so it's not a bunch of specialized parts not a bunch of special crud that's in there and uh, just
just a good overall uh, piece that you can have multiple tunes and uh, for different power levels for multiple conditions. So anyways, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.